Divorce lawyers of Reddit, what's the most screwed you've seen someone? I used to be a divorce lawyer but it was not something I was proud of. Plus the partner I worked for was such an asshole. I was the 11th associate that worked for her in 10 years. We used to go through 2-3 secretaries a year. Couple screwed up cases I remember. Comma our client and his wife were Mormon. During the divorce she used to tell him that he had to give her what she wanted in the divorce because they were sealed in the church and would be spending eternity together. We had to fight him not to give her more than she deserved. Comma represented the wife of a minor celebrity and said celebrity would file for divorce regularly when she acted up. Once he determined she was behaving as he liked. He's cancelled the divorce. Rotten bastard. I've worked as a legal assistant for two family law attorneys for the last 8 years. One of the cases that made me the angriest was a man who cheated on his wife when she had cancer. He then leaves his wife and attempts to hide all his assets while she's undergoing chemotherapy. Fortunately. My boss is a badass. She teamed up with a forensic accountant and they took him to the cleaners. He even had to pay the forensic accountant's bill and attorney's fees. One of my father's friends tried to salt the earth before getting divorced. A rental house and a cabin were deeded to relatives. The cars they drove every day were sold to other relatives for tiny sums. Stocks handed over to a trust for the children. Etc. He even vanished a chunk of cash from the company he co-owned with his wife using phony invoices and stopped paying himself a salary. Electing to burn through their personal savings for over a year instead. He learned that judges really, really hate when you try to hide or intentionally diminish assets. And they will absolutely refer you to prosecutors for fraud. I don't think he did any jail time in the end. But his ex-wife got everything. Plus the satisfaction of firing him from his own company. My favorite divorce story of all time. My buddy meets girl. Gets married. La dee da. Six months later. She runs off with another dude. After a couple months my buddy filed for divorce. He told her listen. We've been married six months. Let's do an uncontested divorce since you haven't worked or anything. And I own everything and did before I met you. She puts up a fight. And eventually comes to I had a car coming into this marriage and I'm leaving with one. She sold her car for some dumb shit. He offers her the truck. 10 years old with 150k miles but meticulously maintained. She said nope. So off to court they go. She got zip. Nada. Empty handed. My favorite justice boner of all time. Not a lawyer. But a dramatic divorce story. I know a man who was falsely accused of domestic violence during the separation from his wife. She lived in the marital home and he paid for everything for her despite her having a full time job. She got a boyfriend who didn't work and allowed him to live in the house. My friend went to meet her at the house for a final time to decide who would take what from the house. He was recording everything on his phone without her knowledge as he was afraid something would be said or happen that might be held against him. They couldn't agree. He left and found out she had called 911 and reported that he had made death threats and assaulted her. The divorce went downhill from there. He spent 14k on lawyers. To finally have the charges dismissed. During his criminal ordeal she sued him for 250k in alimony. The recording saved him with the police and to this day she insists he assaulted her. An unbelievable shti show. Friend of mine is a divorce lawyer. His favorite is the time the husband in a bitter divorce got some slimy lawyer and said he would out lawyer her and break the bank before giving her anything she wanted. This was in front of my friend. A lawyer. He looks at her and says I'm working for you pro bono, free, from this moment forward. He looks back at them and says I got all day. My parents got divorced when I was 12. I am sketchy on the details but I remember it was long. Drawn out and acrimonious. Eventually. My mum was awarded a massive settlement. My dad was basically left with superannuation and nothing else. After the ruling was handed down my mother's own lawyer walked into my father and his lawyer's meeting and said that ruling was bullshit. You should appeal. Gotta be pretty bad when a lawyer wants his own win overturned. Edit. He didn't appeal. He was a bit broken by that point and just wanted to move on. 
Sorry for lack of detail. I was 12. It was some time ago. My dad told me the story years later. Not a lawyer but I knew a guy who lost his own cell phone number. He had the same number since high school. But she convinced the judge that she used his phone enough to get his number. Basically he kept his clothes and car and had to pay alimony. My father-in-law had a stroke at the age of 46. He lost the use of his right arm and the ability to speak. Shortly after his stroke his wife decided they needed to move into a smaller house and sell their current one which was under his name and he had paid for. This also meant she was kicking out my brother-in-law and my wife, girlfriend at the time. She also decided to put down my wife's cat and get rid of the family dog since their new house wouldn't have pets according to her. She sold their house at a loss and immediately bought a new car with the money. My wife and her brother found a new place and my father-in-law and his wife moved in with one of her kids. After 6 months she dumped him at my wife's place and said I can't take care of him we are getting a divorce. I don't know how it happened exactly but she got half his money. And a new car. She then went to all his family and lied to them and somehow convinced them that he was being abusive. And didn't love her anymore. We tried to convince him to fight it but he refused to do anything because he was so depressed. The lawyer ruled he was of sound mind so he could make his own decisions. My wife is still upset about it and wishes he had tried to fight it but he still loved his wife so he didn't want to. He lives with us now and it's doing a lot better emotionally. TLDR. Father-in-law had a stroke. Lost his home. His wife. Half his savings. And his family. An accountant. Not a lawyer. I had a buddy. A good guy. But he thought with the wrong head. Divorced one woman. Fell into relationship with this bimbo blonde who messed around on him. They had started a business together but all the designs were his. She wanted the designs. I went in as his witness and testified about the amount of money they had invested and that yes. The designs had all existed before the marriage as I had helped him set it up. Well. They spent months fighting about it. Her attorney was a crook. $35. 000 each in legal bills. Both filed bankruptcy and guess what? He got the designs and business. But had to sell his house and leave town. Of course got married again. Got taken again. Then number 4 had 3 kids and she screwed him too. Some people never learn. He is almost 60 with 3 kids under 10. On my year abroad in the US I took a domestic relations class ran by an ex-judge who told us a few good one. The first one was a couple who gathered their entire stuffed toy collection and split them in court. Each taking turns to pick. He said they weren't even collectibles. A lot of cheap ones you'd get at the fair. My favorite is where both parties were both being unreasonable and not thinking of the kids. In the end he awarded the house to the kids who would permanently live there and the parents who had joint custody would take it in turns to live there. His argument was that the kids lives should take priority. Best thing was neither party could afford to buy an additional place on their own so the couple had to rent a small flat together and also share that. Pretty badass judge in my opinion. More of an estate issue. But deceased man was married 9 years ago to a woman. These are what I call late in life marriages where a woman with nothing marries a retired man with a house. Retirement income. And time to vacation. Man brings a fully paid for house into the marriage. He takes out a mortgage to presumably afford vacations and new wife expenses. Bank requires both names on the mortgage so he deeds it to them as joint tenants. Two years later. She leaves him for another man and was never heard from again. A couple months ago. He finds out he's going to die. He immediately files for a divorce, but it was never finalized. He created a deed to his children, not valid because it would need her signature. And a will which describes in detail how terrible she was in disinheriting here completely, doesn't matter because state allows a wife to avoid the will and take one stroke two of marital property. He died before anything could be done. She now owns the only remaining assets of the house and a marital car. Even though the son moved into the house and took care of his dying father for two years. No heirs will receive anything. She will receive a hefty house and 20k car. 
not a divorce lawyer but there's this security guard that works at the mall my friend works at and he immigrated to the US from India and was in an arranged marriage with this American born Indian girl. He busted his ass off to put her through college and dentistry school and she ended up cheating on him with her ex-boyfriend from high school and ran off with him. They didn't get divorced but he's still paying off her school loans. Client's husband was an elected official, may still be, and signed a separation agreement. He fails to do anything he agreed to so the wife sues and he fights saying that she forced him to sign. She shows emails where he negotiated the agreement and agreed on the final draft and she showed emails where she tried to work with him on payments he owed her. He loses after making his staff member come into court, who testifies that he didn't think he was being forced to, and having a meltdown in court. Rumor was he threw his elected title around the judge as a way to get them to help him. A few months later he shows up to contest the actual divorce. Citing the same stuff and then says that she threatened to shoot him. Judge sides with the client. He has to now pay her like 6k or get thrown in jail. All could have been avoided if he responded to the emails she sent him. Not a lawyer but saw the whole scene unfold. Dad had a neighbor who divorced her absolute d-bag husband. Cheating. Name calling. Everything was on the table for this guy. Together they had two little boys and she was super mom. Seriously she loved those kids more than life itself. The husband made all the money though. And when he realized she had no assets to take he went for the only thing she had left. The children. He took her to court over and over and over until she couldn't afford the legal fees anymore then argued that she couldn't afford to care for the children. He took her kids out of spite. Bought them everything they ever could want after the divorce and generally let them do whatever they wanted. When the boys found out they were living with their dad they cheered. That sweet woman was left with absolutely nothing all because she dared divorce the shitty husband that didn't pay attention to her in the first place. Husband and wife are getting divorced after multiple attempts to reconcile. Husband is an attorney. Though not family law. One of the attempted reconciliations includes wife losing some weight and sending husband some sexy naked pictures. Once divorce litigation started. Husband sent these pictures to wife's minister father asking if he knew what a wh ray he raised. During litigation. Husband also drove around at night with their two small children in the car to find wife's car at a friend's house and pour airplane acid, yeah. Apparently it's a thing, all over wife's hood. Not a lawyer. But second hand divorce story. But you didn't have any responses yet. So. Military. Friend of mine was planning on getting out after 12ish years. Getting a divorce. Final on the divorce basically forces him to stay in the navy for 20 so his soon to be ex-wife can get half of the pension. He doesn't necessarily have to retire. But if he doesn't. He would be required to pay her half of what he would have gotten if he retired at his current grade. So yeah. Forced to retire. I know a guy who got a prominent position in our community and ended up cheating on his wife and deciding to leave her. He's insanely popular until what he's done to his wife is exposed. She files for divorce and he decides to give her everything. I assume hoping to get everything over quickly and have people move on. Not so. Ends up losing his position the next cycle and has nothing at all but his car. He had given his wife millions of dollars in real estate. Equipment. Owned a construction co. Massive savings accounts. Stocks. Bonds etc. Just to try to save face. After losing his position he tried to appeal his divorce. Not. My favorite I've seen a few times. I'll tell the best one. Lady marries super rich dude I know. He owns lots of properties. His parents set him up. The one by the beach makes $24. 000 a month. 8 years later she wants a divorce. They have 2 kids. She says she will take the beach house. This is when he tells her he owned all of his property before they met. She got $5,000 a month for 2 years. He and his new girlfriend travel and party 24-7 when they are hanging with their kids. His girlfriend is such a better fit. Same thing happened to another good guy friend of mine. During my dad's recent divorce of my stepmom he voluntarily gave her the house 2 of 3 cars. And most of the assets. 
He only wished to take his mechanics tools, personal items, and some necessities like clothes, towels, some dishes and cooking utensils etc. My stepmother demanded in court that he reimburse her monetarily for all of these items. To include the six towels he had taken with him. Which he had apparently valued at one dollar. Zero zero zero. When the judge heard this after being informed that my dad had basically voluntarily given her about 85% of his net worth he had to hide a laugh when he said that no. He would not be requiring my dad to pay one dollar. 000 for 6 Walmart brand bath towels. Not a divorce lawyer. But my old boss got thrown in jail for missing divorce court. I live in a small town that has court every second and fourth Thursdays. If there is no court and you are detained you get hauled 4 hours to the closest city. Guy got arrested while having lunch with his 6 year old son. And taken to the remand center for a night. When he finally saw the judge the judge said to his ex-wife. Please don't waste my time on something like this again then she drove him 4 hours home while he reamed her out. Lawyer here. I had a client who was the cleanest cut of the clean. Think of the nicest most innocent stable guy you can think of. I only take clients based off their initial few weeks of behavior and background check. He was basically goddamn Mr. Rogers. No criminal record. Same company for 20 years. Great character references that were proven. Then the client went and got not one but two DUIs and an assault charge. Then he committed suicide. I know he didn't want me to get stuck with no money and hordes of paperwork. I think I'm a nicer guy. But sometimes I wonder. She took half the credit card debt. Her car, on a lease. Left me my truck and the house that was too much for me on my own. We kept our own 401. K. Accounts. And I quit claim any rights to her trust fund inheritance. I barely held on to the house. But made it work. Sold the truck and bought a motorcycle. She inherited enough to semi-retire by 45. But I still own the house. Worth 6x what I bought it for. I'm happily married to a woman I met 18 years ago and she's alone. I'll retire early overseas. If things work out as expected. She slept with her boss after 18 months married. I hope she dies alone. Not a lawyer. But went through the whole process with a friend whose ex-husband tried to take everything from her despite the mounting evidence he was verbally and physically abusive. She was the one to file for divorce after he shoved her onto the bed with enough force to break the bed and leave two handprint bruises on her chest. The house was in her name. The car was in her name. She was the only one working. So he twisted this tell that she let her sex offenders come in and harm their toddler daughter despite her staying with me and my husband due to his stalking. He would text her asking why she wasn't home and if she was off with some guy being a wh ray while she was at my house with their daughter. He tried to use her mental health illness caused by him as a means of her being an unfit mother and that he needed sole physical and legal custody of their daughter. He even took the ashes of their firstborn who passed away. In the end. He got two weekends a month. Holidays every other year. And cannot come to her house or contact her unless I directly involved their daughter. He tried to get the house and car but since they were both in her name the judge said no. It was a year long ordeal but thankfully it's finally ended. She was scared for the longest time that they would accept the basis of her mental illness as a reason she couldn't take care of her daughter. She had depression and anxiety due to abuse and once he was out of the picture her mood enhanced. She was going to offer him more because she was feeling better but he wanted all or nothing so he got nothing. Divorcee here. Bought a house with my ex. Nine months or so before he left me. Because I moved out, rather than watch listen to him screw the girl he cheated on me with and left me for, he got to keep the house. The house I put my life savings into. Both for the deposit and repairs. He didn't contribute a penny because he was broke after buying me a ridiculous diamond ring I didn't want. Which he threw a fit about and disappeared for 3 days when I asked if we could exchange it for something more modest. I had to hire my own labor to sue him just to get my name off the house. While he used his uncle for free. I didn't get financial compensation at all. Despite any of the money I had to pay out being 100% his fault. And. To top it all off. 
He got to keep my bird. Not a lawyer. But I know a family going through hell right now. Here it goes. Man marries woman. Woman slowly gets crazy. Her temper starts showing. Over 30 years. She beat her kids. Emotionally verbally abused them. Hit her husband and threw things at him. So much more to include addiction to alcohol and opioids. Nothing is her fault. Family waits on her hand and foot. These kids are remarkable people but you can tell they are emotionally socially anxious. When the man finally filed for divorce come to discover the woman has been telling her family. Friends. And the woman's crisis center that her family has abused her for 30 years. And he has brainwashed the now adult children into not liking her. She has hidden money. Lied and worse to include crimes. I can't believe I'm watching a loving father and his children getting taken down by such a deceitful. Manipulative person. In my country lawyer. Attorney and advocate are three separate professions. I am a lawyer. Husband and wife was 50 stroke 50 in business. But unbeknownst to us the husband gave one extra share to his wife. We have a law called black economic empowerment. Where female are worth more points than males. He did it to win tenders. Anyway. Fast forward a year. He is caught having an affair. She wants a divorce. And the attorneys stumble on the 51% shareholding. So she can make all the decisions. Within a week she sells everything. Their house in the city. Their vacation place in Mauritius. Their game farm. Everything. He gets his 49% of the profits. But he sold it for less than 10% of its value. To an unknown trust. Later it came out the trust was her attorney's set up. She sold it to herself for nothing. Gave him nothing. Bought it back and has all their stuff now.